Amazon announced earnings this week, and the stock was a big winner, melting up 15 percent. It was largely more of the same. A lot of growth, not a lot of profits. However, the cloud and the silver lining here is Amazon's cloud, specifically their web services. More than a million customers fire up machines in Amazon's data centers every day. The company is quickly growing its cloud storage division, generating $1.6 billion this quarter and on track to do six. And even more impressive, generate a billion dollars in what have been largely elusive profits for the Seattle-based firm. In our recently released L2 intelligence report on agility, we looked at e-commerce platform strategy. Probably the most encouraging data for cloud-based solutions is that companies growing their international efforts seem to have an easier time flipping on sites in foreign markets, indicating that it's easier to scale with a cloud-based solution. A surprising winner, cash. Despite all the hype around Apple Pay and Google Wallet and Venmo, cash still accounts for 40% of all transactions in the U.S. Small sums, which make up the majority of all payments, are also still ruled by cold, hard cash. So the loser here, checks, and specifically check writers. The number of Google searches for how to write a check has exploded, increasing sevenfold in the last 10 years. And it seems to peak when, surprise, Incoming college freshmen show up on campus and have to figure out a way to pay for the first time their rent and their utilities. So how long does it take for us to change our minds on key social issues? Well, it appears that the cycle time is decreasing in a digital age as people can share their views and information more crisply. Most recently, same-sex marriages took only two years for the American public to flip their mind versus interracial marriages, which took almost two decades. A big winner, sweatpants, and a big loser, denim, as people opt for athletic wear over jeans. Young, wealthy teens prefer athletic wear over denim. The brand that stands to benefit most from this trend? Nike, with 24% mind share in a recent study done by Piper Jaffrey. This is part of a much larger macro trend, and that is the explosion of the vanity economy, which includes beauty, luxury, and apparel. It's going to grow from $3.5 trillion to over $4.5 trillion in the next three to five years largely fueled by China. Look for the vanity economy to be the most successful sector in our society the next five years. I am committed to personally driving the I am so fucking old and ugly, I just don't care anymore economy. We'll see you next week.